Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoyed this video, please write to Universal Pictures and have them remake the dodgy CGI Cats movie, changing all the felines to magnificent pelicans wearing little helmets and goggles instead, as this would really help spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. So I spawn in, and I guess it's snowing now because that's right, you Americans have snow at Christmas time. In Australia, we just have snowing black ash from the non-stop bushfires, but I guess we at least do have a creepy guy with a beard coming down the chimney. It's just that it's not Santa, it's my uncle literally ejaculating down the chimney. It's very festive. Anyway, for some reason I've spawned at the summit of Mount Chiliad and I've got a $7,000 bounty on my head, but whatever, today we are checking out the new casino heist. I don't mean to flex on poor people either, but I've got a million dollars in the bank, so as you can imagine, my wrist is cold. I'm like a second away from buying a Supreme t-shirt and updating my Instagram bio to part-time entrepreneur and part-time vagina quickscoper. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. It's so my mate Crosby says he purchased a sick new car, so I head over to check it out. Now I'm not sure if sick new car was the appropriate language to describe this particular vehicle, but I guess at least that cargo carrier on the roof gives him ample space to curl up into a ball and cry about how pathetic his life must have been to have bought this car. And to my surprise, it does go pretty hard though. And Crosby says, yeah nah mate, yeah she goes alright mate, she goes hard mate, she gets me from A to B mate. Seriously though, they nerfed the MK2 oppressor flying motorbike when they probably should have nerfed this. I notice a player up ahead, so I pull out my micro SMG and proceed to spray down Fluffy Muffin 368. Sorry big girl, but getting taken down by two larrikins in a fuel efficient hatchback with a surprisingly spacious cargo carrier really is rock bottom for you. Anyway, the planning for the casino heist takes place at this arcade. You know the old school arcades with like pinball machines and all that? Very badass. A cutscene starts featuring a bunch of gender confused hipsters and of course everybody's favourite big bopper, Lester. I've done so many missions for this guy and he never remembers my name, it's actually pretty rude. We don't have to like each other, but as colleagues can we not at least be cordial in our interactions? Jesus, read a book Lester. Now obviously I didn't buy the arcade myself, Crosby did, and I'm just helping him set it up by retrieving the actual machines themselves. I'm not getting paid for this either, so I guess I now know exactly how exploited sweatshop workers feel. And honestly I feel like they're acting a little bit like crybabies because this is actually pretty fun. On another note, sometimes I get asked how I do my narration voice. Well you see the trick is to try and sound like Microsoft Sam if he was Australian and had suffered multiple strokes. Also no one has ever asked me that, I just wanted a reason to roast myself. We locate the stolen arcade machines and I provide Crosby with some tactical air support. Honestly, I don't know what he would have done without me. As we begin the long haul back to the arcade, I notice another player is tailing us which is not ideal. I decide not to engage him and to just hope that he's one of my subscribers coming to say hi. He then throws a sticky bomb onto our truck and kills us both in turn destroying the arcade machines. It then becomes immediately apparent that he was not a subscriber but that he was just out to claim the $7,000 bounty I had on me which I had forgotten about. I also now look like a bit of a narcissist for thinking that was a subscriber. Like who do I think I am? I briefly consider venting my frustration by shotgunning this player in the head, but then decide there are far more healthier ways to blow off steam. Like slaughtering dozens of NPCs or killing yourself. No I shouldn't say that, suicide is not funny. 
And did you know a specific type of Carmelian die right after they mate? Please solve this issue once and for all by keeping these suicidal lizards in your thoughts and prayers. So take two, but Crosby decides he wants to get a haircut. Sort of strange timing as we are trying to steal this supply truck so that we can rob a casino. But I guess I can't knock the whole look good, feel great mantra, so power to him. He then comes out looking exactly like the one, the only, Dr. Disrespect. So I guess Crosby is now Dr. Disrespect. Very intriguing character development, but I like it. My mates and I are all pretty big Dr. Disrespect fans, even though we are all almost certain he isn't even a real doctor. So we finally steal this truck without anything going wrong, which is actually a miracle. I was hoping that because it's just Crosby and I, things would go smoother, but I guess it's now pretty obvious that I'm the problem within the group. I should probably use this rare moment of self-reflection as a platform to grow as a person. Or I mean, we could just overly modify Crosby's sick car instead. You wouldn't think you'd be able to turn this into a beast, but check this out. Perfection on wheels right now, this shit is so clean. It's actually really good to finally get some top tier car content on the channel for all you motor enthusiasts out there. Actually, Elon Musk should probably hire Crosby7885 to design the next Tesla model. So instead of ending up with another fragile, unrendered warthog, we get something of this caliber. Man, today's been a weird Grand Theft Auto session. Let's get on with the heist. More cutscenes with Lester, but at least the doctor's here now physically, and I like to think spiritually too. So now we've got to subtly scope out the casino, and so we fly a military helicopter over it and parachute down. Lester wants photos of just about everything, and if there's one thing I'm good at, it's taking sneaky photos of people. You see, back in the day, this really attractive woman lived next door to me. Actually, you know what, never mind, but please put an F in the comment section for my old toilet cam. Another tip I have is if you're going to scope a joint out, have fun with it. Look at how this sepia filter on my selfie cam makes thick man's bald head pop right out. Also be thorough though, as you don't want to miss anything important. But also be gender inclusive so that people can't really get mad at you for sexual harassment. So we scope out the casino for a while longer, looking for anything to do with security. We then head into a public bathroom and Crosby starts live streaming on Twitch to tens of thousands of people. It should be fine though, as I can't imagine the authorities or general public will grossly overreact to this simple lapse of judgment. I actually find the internet to be a very forgiving and pleasant environment where you usually see the best side of people. Again, we don't get paid for this and we need money to renovate the arcade, so we sell some coke. $32,000 in the bank, but Crosby made like half a million because it was his coke. So again, I think I'm in a position to empathize with overseas slave workers. Like imagine only getting paid $32,000 for 15 minutes labor, it's barbaric. It's also crazy how old this game is, given how much it still impresses me. I just love the little details, like coming across these two industrial workers monitoring the satellite dishes, it's really wholesome. Anyway, I need to start hustling on the side a bit myself, so I head down to my coke lab and buy max supplies so my workers can start producing product. I also hope I'm not paying them very much. I then head back to the arcade so that we can keep going with the heist. Between the Sons of Virgins, we've got about 25 apartments, five office buildings, various motorcycle clubs, a few bunkers, and an ex-government facility. But no, let's plan the heist out of this old crappy arcade in the middle of nowhere. That's the optimum place to plan an intricate robbery. In fairness, the renovations have really picked up the vibe here. There's a Christmas tree and even a bar which is convenient, as I like to have a fun cute little role play sometimes, where I pretend all the assassinations that Thick Man's ever done over the years haunt him and his only coping mechanism is to abuse alcohol. Check this girl out, she's like female body armor in RPG video games in a nutshell. Like those pink panties probably have a higher defense bonus than metal plated combat slacks. 
So yeah, as you can see, this isn't a simple follow the steps heist. There's all this optional stuff which isn't great for us because if I'm being honest, it just means more can go wrong. Next up, we need to hack into the casino's cameras and locate the vault. We take Crosby's Avenger because why not, but we decide to make a stop on the way. See, you know how there's a Christmas tree in the arcade, given it's that time of year? We just wanted to make sure the strippers also have a tree set up. Which they don't. Rockstar, I love you, but I'm a little disappointed. Strippers need to have happy holidays as well, as they are valued members of our community. They did, however, set up a giant Christmas tree in the center of the city, which anyone, including the strippers, could enjoy. So I guess there is that. We make our way to the casino, and the plan is to hack into the security cameras via the Wi-Fi. This acts as a timely reminder that whenever you connect to a random Wi-Fi, someone could be watching you through your camera. And it's probably me, and I'm probably furiously fapping. We get into the feed and look around. Fortunately, I'm incredibly intelligent and immediately recognize the bank vault, which is what we'll no doubt be robbing. Perfect, we are absolutely crushing these recon missions. I then ask Crosby to please stand still for a moment so I can get a thumbnail for my video. And he does something equally as helpful and punches me in the eye socket. Naturally, I pull out a hatchet and drive it into his skull, which has remarkably very little effect on him. Damn, the doc is one tough malacca. I swear these Sons of Virgins videos can go either way. Last time we did an entire heist, and this time we've only done some recon, but it looks like we're getting to the juicy part now. Also, I'll be doing a Christmas special soon, and I'll answer a few questions for a Q&A segment at the end. So feel free to ask a question in the comment section, and I'll pick some of the best ones to include. The lesson here is that strippers deserve to have a very Merry Christmas as much as you do. Thanks for watching, you absolute legends, and a massive thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.